Hey guys, Dennis Gantz here with Wild Bow Hunting. Welcome to the Wild Bow Hunting YouTube channel. This is going to be the platform that we're going to be focusing a lot on from now into the coming future and especially over the next several weeks because now through the month of September we're going to try to give back as much as we possibly can to all of you, our viewers and followers of the Wild Bow Hunting uh, social media pages and Wild Bow Hunting television show. So we greatly appreciate that. So what we're going to be doing is talking about some of the products that we use and some of the products that we have here at Wild Bow Hunting, and we're going to give them back to you through contests that we're going to be showing you here right on our YouTube channel and sharing these videos to our social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, and so forth, okay, as well as uh, checking in through different things on our website. So we want you to follow us as much as you possibly can, and if you're not subscribed, to our YouTube channel yet, we ask you to please do so because that's going to be one of the ways that you're going to have a chance to enter to win some of the great prizes that we're going to be sharing with you over the next several weeks here of the month of September as we get ready to ramp up to the beginning of our archery season in Pennsylvania. I know there's a lot of places across the country <clears throat> that people have already started hunting, whether it's for pronghorn antelope, uh, maybe mule deer, maybe they're chasing elk in the uh, mountains of Colorado. Uh, but here in Pennsylvania, we're not doing any deer hunting just yet. But what we want to do is talk to you a little bit about wild bow hunting today. I want to introduce you again to our YouTube channel. It's something that we've had for a while, but we really didn't put a lot of emphasis into it. And we're going to start doing that uh, now going into the future. Uh, we're going to continue to air our shows on Gen 7 Outdoors TV and SSP TV going into 2019, which is season four of Wild Bow Hunting, which we're so excited about because it's hard to believe that we're filming for our fourth season already of Wild Bow Hunting and sharing our adventures and, and ups and downs and challenges that we face every single day, day in and day out as blue collar hunters. We are five guys, myself and my team members, as well as a new cameraman this year, and we all work full-time jobs. And that's one of the things that we're proud of here at Wild Bow Hunting is the fact that we all work full-time jobs, we have raised families, and we still find time to put in the hard work and dedication that's required of anybody who loves to go out and hunt any kind of animal that it is that you hunt, kill that animal properly, legally, and ethically, and then bring that food home to feed our families. That's what we do. And we just try to put it into a television show, into short videos, and the tips that we're gonna be sharing with you through our YouTube channel and through our TV shows that we air every single season on Wild Bow Hunting. We've had a great response from a lot of great people. We've met so many wonderful people along this journey, and we can't wait for the years ahead that's going to be uh, in store for us here at Wild Bow Hunting. The guys are excited, we're excited. We've had a great turkey season. Uh, we can't wait to share that with you. We've had a great summer with predator hunting, if you've been following us on our social media pages. We're getting pumped up because we have so many great pictures of deer on our trail cameras and all the different areas that we're going to be hunting. Plus, we're going out of state to hunt as well on public land, and we're excited about that. We don't always bag a deer when we go out of state, but it's exciting to do that, to challenge yourself, to do it yourself between the different tools that we use, and we're going to be sharing those things that we use to help us better scout and better prepare and hopefully bag and punch a tag when we're out there hunting in those different public lands in different states. So let's talk about the contests, how they're going to run, and what you have to look forward to in week one of the great giveaway. Well, I'm going to give you a hint. I'm wearing something that kind of leads into what the first prize is that you're going to have a chance to win. So here's how it's going to work. All right. We're going to talk to you a little bit about a product each week, and it's a product that we love to use here at Wild Bow Hunting. Um, they're products that we've really tried and tested and we believe in. We've been using them for a while now, so it's not just something where someone's come and say, hey, we want you to use this product because you have a TV show and this and everything. No, that's not what we're about. We want to work with companies that have the same values, the same personalities, the same beliefs, um, the same ethical standards that we have here at Wild Bow Hunting. And we found that in a lot of companies. It's because we are all alike. We're hunters, we're family men and women, uh, we're outdoorsmen. We love sharing our passions with everybody that we can. And, uh, and we found that in this one product, in this one company, in this one family um, that we're gonna talk to you a little bit about today. And you can guess it, it's Buck Cage, okay? The Walleiser family. 
um, Chris Walliser, Penny Walliser, Cliff Walliser, such amazing people that we have become such good friends with. If you've come to any of the expos that we've been at or you've watched any of the shows over the last two seasons of Wild Bout Hunting, you've seen us hanging out with the Walleisers quite a bit and there's a reason for that. They're just like us. They're ordinary people who are working hard to make a living 40, 50, 60 hours a week, all right? Stretching the budget as far as you can, all right? And, and then some and we love to hunt and the reason we hunt is we put food on our table we eat everything that we kill and that's that's what has grown the relationship uh, and we're excited about it i mean you, you see if you if you've ever talked to chris walleyes or cliff walleyes or a penny they are excited about hunting they are excited about fishing they're excited about getting new people involved in the outdoors whether it's hunting for turkey for the first time like we did with uh, Tammy Mumi in one of our shows in season two, whether we're hunting Sika deer down in Maryland, whether we're going fishing on a creek with their kids, the grandkids, whether they're taking their daughter and grandson on a deer hunt and um, just sharing those memories, sharing those moments together, um, the smiles, the laughs, uh, the hard times, the good times. That's what we love about the Walleiser family. Um, Mountain High Hunting, their company, and Buck Cage. Uh, it's just an amazing relationship that me personally, I've had for the last six years now, and uh, the team at least for uh, the last four or five years, and we've become such wonderful friends with them. So we're gonna talk about the Buck Cage, all right? If you have not tried the Buck Cage yet, you're really missing out. It's a revolutionary new product that's really not all that new. It's been out for many, many years. Like I said, I've been using the Buck Cage for six years. Um, I met Chris and Cliff at the Bloomsburg Early Bird Sportsman Show, which we've been at for the last uh, three years now, and that's how I found the buck cage. Uh, what the buck cage is, it's really simple. It's a canister, just like this right here, all right? It pops open, all right? It has a kit. It kind of looks like a, a film vial or a pill vial or a bottle. Um, it's plastic. Inside of it is the actual buck cage. It is a silicone based cage that's very flexible, okay? It's not going to break, it's not going to freeze, it's not going to dry out. Um, you know, we've all used scent wicks. We've used uh, scent wicks that come in bottles. We've used, uh, maybe you've used a rag, maybe you've used a sock. I know if, you, <laughs> if you've ever hunted with my brother David, he used, he's used a sock before buck cage. Um, anything that's going to absorb whatever the scent is that we're choosing to use, uh, for that season, we have done it. We've used it. Now, what's the problem with using those things? Well, the problem with using things like that is, one, the air hits them immediately. And what happens to uh, the scents that we use? Well, first of all, the scents that we use for hunting, whether it's deer, uh, predators, um, you know, bear, fog, whatever it is that you're able to use the scent for, it's, as soon as air hits it, it's a urine. It's going to start to break down, it's going to start to spoil, it's going to start to lose its effectiveness. So immediately you're already losing the effectiveness of that scent when you use any kind of a cotton-based wick or scent dispersal system of that nature. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. What does the buck cage do differently? Well, what the buck cage does differently, is it comes in, it has polymer beads. And the polymer beads are something very similar to what you would find in a baby diaper. Um, and it's a little pack, it's got, uh, I don't know how many are exactly in it, but it's got all these polymer beads. They sit down in the cage. What you do is you take your favorite scent, no matter the brand, it does not matter, no matter how fresh, you take a half ounce of it and you'll pour it in the vial. And every single one of the vials has a line on here that says a half ounce. You put that in maybe the day before you're gonna hunt, two, three hours before you're gonna get ready to hunt, you stick your buck cage in with the brand new polymer beads. You put that down into the vial. You clamp it, it's got a click, okay? Now I can pop this upside down. It's not, I can put it in my pocket. I can put it in my backpack. This is not going to leak. I set it on the counter. The next morning when I'm ready to go hunting, I pop, this is, those beads are completely absorbed, okay? All your scent is in those beads. So what they've now done is they've expanded, they've grown, they filled that buck cage up. If you fill the vial, all the way and you put in those beads are gonna explode because they, they gotta keep growing and they're gonna bust through the little cages here and whatnot. So you don't wanna put any more than a half ounce. Now, 
Why is this important that we only put a half ounce? Several things. As a hunter, as an outdoorsman, we spend a lot of money year round on gear, okay? Whether it's a new bow, a new gun, bullets, arrows, broadheads, camouflage, backpacks, you name it, we buy it. And a lot of times we're looking for the best deals that we can possibly get, but we're also buying the best products that we can get because we want them to last. We want to get a bang out of our buck. Well, you're getting a bang out of your buck with buck cage because this is going to allow you to get that two ounce bottle of your favorite scent okay or one ounce bottle of your favorite scent and make it one entire season without having to buy another bottle because once you've put a half ounce of this in here and you do and you use the buck cage what it's going to do is it's going to extend the life of that scent two to three weeks okay that you're going to get fresh scent every time you deploy it. So the way it works is you've got the polymer beads. Those polymer beads absorb that liquid. It traps it in there. The oxygen cannot get into those polymer beads. So by doing that, okay, the only way that liquid is going to get out, those beads are eventually going to want to shrink back to their original size. So as they shrink back to their original size, the liquid evaporates. And as it's evaporating, it's dispersing fresh scent the whole entire time. All right. When you deploy this, you pop that vial, right? Squeeze it so the lid pops up. It's got a nice little built-in hook, just like that, on top of it. All right. We'll use our buck here as an example. We'll make sure this will be the limb that we're going to hang it on. All right. You just take that, put it over the side, pull. All right. Your buck cage hangs there just like that. This is great for a lot of different reasons. Okay. I didn't touch this buck cage at all with my hands, okay? So I don't have any human odor on the cage. My human odor is on the vial, all right? I can take this, put it back in my backpack, put it in my pocket. Some guys will even go as far as just setting the cage the canister down on the ground, all right? And leaving that vial open because there's still scent in there, all right? And it'll remind them that they've got to go and get this at the end of the hunt and bring it back so they don't forget it. You can leave them out, but keep in mind, when you leave your buck cage out, it's getting air, so it's gonna to wanna to evaporate, um, and your beads are going to shrink a lot quicker. So what I do is every time I hunt, after I'm done with my hunt, I come over, I go to my cage, I slide my canister right up, slide it off of the limb, snap the lid in place, I take it with me. Now what I'll do is I like to keep it in the refrigerator just to keep them cool, and I keeps it a little bit fresher. And the next time I'm ready to go hunting, I take my vial with me, I hang it on a limb, and I'm good to go. Two to three weeks on a half an ounce of sand, it's as fresh as it can be, it does not spoil, it doesn't stay sour, it doesn't get sour, it's fresh urine, whether it's estrus, doe urine, buck urine, uh, if you're using it for predators, a lot of guys do it, it works out really, really well. Um, when you use this, you want to put this about 18 to 20 inches off of the ground. That's the recommendation because when a buck's coming in looking for that doe, their nose is down to the ground, it's not up in the air, okay? When wind blows and thermals are carried, they carry a long distance, but they eventually start to rise. So if you place this 18 to 20 inches off of the ground, instead of up on a, on a licking limb, okay, down on, lower to the ground, as those thermals start to carry themselves out, they're gonna carry a little bit further down the woods or down the trail or down the edge of the field that you got this hung on, and that's gonna hit out there as far as it can, so that checking that buck that's checking the area is gonna maybe catch a whiff of that and start working his way into you. So buck cage, we've loved it. We've used nothing since we've found buck cage, and we would not be sitting here talking to you today about it if we didn't believe in these products. Absolutely amazing. What we're going to do for this contest is we're gonna give away one lucky person a single buck cage all right, it's already got a set of polymer beads in it. So all you've got to do is take your six ounces of your favorite, or half ounce of your favorite scent, uh, come the start of your season, pour that in a vial, stick your buck cage in there, you're good to go. Now, let's say you're just using your regular dough urine for the first part of the season, or a calming scent of some sort, or just a regular buck urine, and you get into that rut and you want to start using your estrus, no problem. We're going to send you some refills here. Okay, this is going to be a pack of I believe it's uh, six refills in here. So when you're ready for the rut and you want to change from a regular dough urine to an estrus, all you've got to do, pop that cage out, take the bottom off, all right, pop that right out of there, pop out the old the beads that you're not going to be using, put a new set of beads in there, and all you're going to do is just take that cap, 
Put that on the bottom of the cage, spin it around until it spins freely, just like that. Okay, your new beads are in there. You, what you're going to do with your can, it, well, after you dump them out, you're gonna wash this with just some regular hot water, let it dry out really, really good. Then put your new beads in, put the cap back on, take your half ounce dough estrus, whatever brand you choose to use, put your, can, your uh, buck cage back in, snap it on, you're ready to hunt the rut. And uh, that half ounce will guaranteed to last that two, three weeks of that full of that rut. You won't have to really refresh this much at all. So we've got a single buck cage. We've got a pack of refills that are going to go to a lucky winner. Now, how do you enter? How are you going to get a chance to win this? Here's how it works. You've got to watch this full video, okay? Because now I'm giving you the details at the end of the video. So you're going to watch this whole video. What we need you to do is make sure that you are a subscriber of the Wild Bout Hunting YouTube channel. We ask you to please comment in the comments down below in the YouTube comments on our channel why you need a buck cage, all right? And then please share this video with your friends through any social media outlet, okay? And tell them they've got to come to YouTube, to the Wild Bow Hunting YouTube channel and comment in the YouTube comments under the video. And also give us a thumbs up on the video, all right? If you do all three of those things, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment why you need a buck cage, and give us a like, all right, um, on the video itself on the YouTube channel, you are officially entered for a chance to win this. Now, this is going to run today, which is Thursday, August 30th, through uh, Monday, September 3rd, which is Labor Day, okay? So you've got until 8 p.m. that day to get your entries in. All right, then from then on, we're going to tally the entries. We've got to go through and see who's all done everything correctly. And then Thursday, um, the following week, which is going to be September 6th, we're going to post our new YouTube in reference to the contests and the giveaways. So what you're going to do is we're going to announce the winner of who the buck cage winner is, who the lucky person is that won buck, the buck cage. And we're going to talk about the next week, the next product for the next week's giveaway and tell you how you can enter for that. So there you have it, folks. One lucky person's gonna win a buck cage with a pack of refills. You'll be set for the whole entire deer season and probably next season with this buck cage. And if you're not the lucky person that wins this buck cage, hey, it's really, they're really inexpensive. Go to www.buckcage.com. We've got the web address right here on the bottom of our, our screen. Uh, order them. Chris, Penny, Cliffy, they'll send them right out to you in time for the start of your season. You will never have urine all over your hands, your wife or your loved one or your kids, whoever it is. They won't be making weird faces when you come home stinking like a deer because you're using a buck cage and everything is sealed up tight. You've got the freshest scent you can possibly use and you're saving money uh, for other gear that you might need by not having to spend so much on scents throughout the season. So, hey, thanks for watching us on our YouTube channel. And until next week, we'll see you somewhere in the hunting woods.